Have you ever wondered what Earth will be like 300 million years from now? Time, a ceaseless river, shapes and reshapes our world in ways both subtle and profound. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? How the steady tick of the cosmic clock can transform a planet. Imagine the Earth not as a static sphere, but as a dynamic, evolving entity. A planet that breathes, shifts, and adapts. Influenced by an array of factors from the slow, grinding dance of plate tectonics to the ebb and flow of atmospheric conditions, even the distant sun plays a crucial role, its energy driving the cycles of change. These factors, intertwined and interdependent, paint a picture of a future Earth that is both familiar and wholly alien, a world sculpted by the relentless march of time, so let's journey into the future and see what might be in store for our home planet. Earth's crust is in constant motion, reshaping our continents and oceans. This perpetual dance is orchestrated by the force of plate tectonics, a geological phenomenon that has been sculpting our planet's face for billions of years. Imagine the Earth as a giant jigsaw puzzle, with its surface divided into numerous pieces known as tectonic plates. These plates are not stationary, they move and interact, driven by the heat radiating from Earth's core. They slide past each other, collide or pull apart, giving rise to some of the most dramatic geological events. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, mountain formation, all these are orchestrated by the unseen hands of plate tectonics. Now let's take a step back, back to a time when all land masses on Earth were clumped together into a single supercontinent named Pangaea. That was around 300 million years ago. Over the eons due to the ceaseless motion of tectonic plates, Pangaea fragmented into the continents we recognize today. But that's not the end of the story. Plate tectonics never rests, and continents continue their slow march. Scientists predict that in about 250 million years, a new supercontinent will form. This future landmass, tentatively named Pangaea Proxima, will be a result of the Atlantic Ocean closing, bringing the Americas back together with Africa and Europe. This dramatic reshaping of our planet's surface will not only change the geographical map, but also impact global climate patterns, ocean circulation, and the distribution of life. The world of Pangaea Proxima will be vastly different from the one we inhabit today. But remember, plate tectonics is just one aspect of Earth's dynamic nature. While it molds the physical features of our planet, other forces are at work shaping its atmosphere, its climate, and the very life it harbors. The face of Earth will look drastically different, but what about its atmosphere? As we continue our journey into Earth's future, we'll explore how the air we breathe may also undergo dramatic changes over the next 300 million years. The air we breathe today might not be the same in the distant future. This isn't a grim prophecy but rather a scientific speculation. The Earth's atmosphere, the life-giving blanket of gases enveloping our planet, has been in a state of constant flux since its inception. And this process of change is set to continue perhaps with outcomes that are difficult for us to fathom today. So, what might cause these changes in the atmosphere? Well, there are several factors at play. Let's start with volcanic activity. When volcanoes erupt, they spew out vast amounts of gases and particles. Over millions of years, intense volcanic activity can significantly alter the composition of the atmosphere. Next, we have solar radiation. The sun, our life-sustaining star, emits a steady stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. This solar wind interacts with Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere, causing changes over time. As the sun ages and evolves, so too will the intensity of its solar wind, which could lead to drastic changes in our atmosphere. But it's not just natural processes at work here. Human activity is also a major driver of atmospheric change. From industrial pollution to deforestation, we are causing a rapid increase in greenhouse gases, which trap heat and lead to global warming. If our species continues to exist millions of years into the future, the choices we make now will undoubtedly shape the atmosphere of that distant epoch. And what might these changes mean? Well, the atmosphere plays a critical role in regulating Earth's climate and weather patterns. A different mix of gases could lead to a dramatically different climate, with implications for all life forms. For instance, a warmer atmosphere might mean higher sea levels, more intense storms, and shifts in habitats for plants and animals. A different atmosphere means a different climate, but it's the sun that ultimately determines Earth's fate. So while the atmosphere's story is one of constant change, it's also deeply intertwined with the larger cosmic narrative. And as we'll see in the next scene, the sun has a big role to play in this grand saga. 
Our sun is a ticking time bomb and its evolution will have dramatic effects on Earth. Imagine a world where the sun burns brighter and hotter than it does today. As the sun ages its luminosity or brightness will gradually increase. This is a natural part of a star's life cycle. Over the next few hundred million years, the sun will become approximately 10% more luminous. This might not seem like much, but even a small increase in the sun's brightness can have profound effects on our planet. With a brighter, hotter sun, Earth's average surface temperature will rise. The polar ice caps will melt, causing sea levels to rise. The increased temperature could also lead to more intense weather patterns, like stronger storms and longer droughts. If the sun's luminosity continues to increase, Earth could eventually experience a runaway greenhouse effect, where the planet becomes so hot that it's uninhabitable for most forms of life. But that's not the end of the story. In about 5 billion years, the sun will run out of hydrogen fuel in its core. When this happens, the sun will expand into a red giant, engulfing the inner planets, including potentially Earth. The exact fate of our planet is uncertain but it's possible that Earth might be swallowed by the sun or pushed out into a wider orbit. In the face of such a fiery future it's easy to feel daunted, but it's important to remember that these changes will happen over an incredibly long time scale. We're talking about hundreds of millions, even billions of years. That's longer than the entire history of complex life on Earth. So while our sun's future might seem a bit scary, there's no need to panic. We have plenty of time to understand these processes better and who knows, maybe even find ways to mitigate their effects. While the sun's changes might seem terrifying, remember that this is a process that will take millions of years. In a radically different Earth, what happens to life? Let's imagine the Earth 300 million years from now. It's a world that's been sculpted by time where continents have shifted and climates have drastically changed. But the most intriguing question is, what happens to life in this distant future? Life has a remarkable ability to adapt and evolve. We've seen this throughout history with organisms evolving to survive in the harshest conditions from the freezing poles to the scorching deserts. In the future, life will continue to do so, but on an even grander scale. With new environments and climates, life will have to adapt in ways we cannot even begin to fathom today. For instance, in a world where the sun's heat is more intense, we could see the evolution of creatures with advanced cooling systems, or perhaps organisms that thrive on solar energy, much like plants do today. Life might also develop new ways to cope with the shifting geography, perhaps evolving to live in more extreme altitudes or even underwater. But with these changes there's also the potential for extinction, Species that can't adapt quickly enough will be left behind, and yet, extinction is not always the end, it can be a new beginning. From the ashes of old species, new ones rise, adapted and refined by the relentless forge of evolution. And let's not forget about the potential for life beyond Earth. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we might find that life has not only adapted on our home planet, but has also found a way to survive on other planets or moons. We may even discover that life as we know it has changed so drastically that it's barely recognizable to us. The possibilities are as endless as they are fascinating. Life in the future could be so different, so alien yet so familiar. It's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. Life as it always has, will find a way. So while the Earth of the future may be radically different from the one we know now, we can be assured that life, in one form or another, will continue to thrive. The Earth 300 million years from now will be a planet transformed. Our journey through time has shown us a world beyond recognition. The ceaseless dance of plate tectonics will have dramatically altered the face of our continents, creating new landforms and reshaping old ones. The atmosphere too will have evolved, responding to the sun's growing heat and the shifting biosphere. This may result in a climate vastly different from what we know today. As for life itself, its resilience and adaptability will continue to amaze us. Species will evolve, adapt, and diversify in response to these new conditions, creating a biosphere as rich and varied as we see today, albeit in forms we can barely imagine. While we can't predict the future with absolute certainty, one thing is clear. Earth, our home, is a dynamic and ever-changing planet. Even 300 million years from now, it will continue to evolve and surprise us.